Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle So in this video, I'm going to be showcasing an ability and I guess kind of doing a bit of a guide slash review on it. Um, this is the Sacrifice ability. And the reason why I say this is a lot of people don't have Soul Split, um, but a lot of people still want to train their Slayer. Um, and if you don't, didn't know already, there are certain monsters that are very difficult to camp for an entire task without Soul Split if you are not wearing the best armor or the best defense. Um, or if you're just going for all-out DPS and uh, don't bring a shield along for healing abilities or defensive abilities um, to keep you alive for the entire task. Some examples of this are creatures like automatons. Uh, they can deal a lot of damage over time, especially if you don't have Draugr weapons and can't kill them fast enough um, or don't stun them. Just some certain creatures or dark beasts is another great example. If you don't have soul split, you can't do an entire dark beast task um, without banking. However, I did want to show you an ability that pretty much um, removes the need for Soul Split on most monsters, and really the need for any healing at all if used properly, and this is the Sacrifice ability. If you did not get this ability during World Event 2, you can still get it. It is a rare drop from both Bandos and Armadil in the God Wars dungeon. I got this during my very first Bandos trip after World Event 2 ended. Um, it took me about 10 kills or so. I believe I got fairly lucky on the drop there. However, I do not know the exact drop rate. It is marked as a rare drop, so I imagine it might take upwards of 100 Bandos kills or so to get it. But I recommend doing it because it's very worth it. And we're just going to be testing out the sheer power of this ability and how effective it is at healing you during a task. Sacrifice isn't a basic ability, so you don't need adrenaline to use it, and it also recharges fairly quickly. Um, so I found you can use it usually about every two to three monster kills, um, really depending on what type of monster you're killing and how much HP they have. So as you can see, um, I will use it on an Iron Dragon. I'll use it on this next kill here after I lost a bit of HP. So I'll just go ahead and use Sacrifice, and you can see that, oh, it only healed me 313. That's not very much. Um, however, you do want to be able to time this ability correctly. Um, if you miss with it, it's not a huge deal since it does recharge very fast. However, what you want to do is you want to kill the monster you're attacking with the ability. You want Sacrifice to deal the killing blow. And what happens if Sacrifice deals the killing blow, that it will heal the entirety of the damage um, that is that killing blow. I found that Sacrifice usually hits around um, anywhere between 700 to 1.2k for me. Um, so I, it is not affected by the Drygore's full damage bonus at least. Um, I do not know the exact calculations of what affects how hard this ability hits. It is not a melee ability. It's actually a constitution ability. Um, so I imagine it is not affected entirely by your melee damage output or your melee stats. So just keep that in mind. Um, but normally it hits about 1k or so for me. So I'll try to get a kill shot with this thing um, right there. So it has 550 HP left on the Iron Dragon. As you can see, it healed me 550 HP since it I used that as the kill shot. And it recharges so fast that you can just use this over and over. And as long as monsters aren't dealing a ton of damage to you, which they shouldn't as long as you use your abilities correctly. For example, if you use Destroy on a monster, that stuns the monster, so they can't damage you during that attack. And if you use Assault during the next kill, you'll kill it very fast and you won't take much damage. This applies for all monsters, not just Iron Dragons. So if you just cycle between your thresholds like that, with Assault you won't take any damage, with... Um, with Destroy, you won't take any damage because of the stun. With Assault, you won't take much damage because you kill very quickly. And then on that next kill, that third kill, you can just use Sacrifice and heal up with that thing. So I just healed 765 because the kill shot was 765. Obviously, you want to avoid using Sacrifice if the monster barely has any HP left and it's the kill shot. It's not really worth using Sacrifice if the monster only has 100 HP left because it will only heal you 100 HP. But anyway, those are just some tips from me, so if you don't have this ability, um, go ahead and, and camp Bandos or Armadil, either one. Um, Bandos is a bit easier to camp, however, if you have really high range levels and good range gear, you can camp Armadil as well. I will link both my Bandos and Armadil solo guides in the description if you need any help with either of those. Um, also, if you need a partner, you can always join my friends chat and game. There are lots of people in here, so chances are at least one of them might want to go on a Bandos or Armadil trip with you. Anyway, that's about all for this video. Thanks for watching. Get that sacrifice ability if you don't have soul split or even if you do have soul split and would just rather not have to bring prayer potions along with to tasks. Um, use the sacrifice ability and it'll pretty much 
be all the healing you need um, if used correctly.